myself. And my throat was still kind of hurty. So, anyway, it seemed like uh, more people preferred the actual whispering as opposed to my whisper shouting. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to try to actually whisper. It's a little harder. Uh, not on my voice, but just like it, there's like a mental shift that needs to happen. So like I have to like actively think about whispering. And I really feel like I don't have the breath cadence right. So because with the uh, stage whispering, the whisper shouting. Um, that, I don't know, that was just easier to breathe. And so, uh, maybe that's why people like this better, is that uh, there's a lot more mouth noises, and uh, there's a lot more like, <sighs> um, I'll get used to, I'll get there. I also kind of wanted to see if I took a couple days off, um, how my voice was going to react to it because it was not feeling super great there. And then also like my headspace was just, I was just like in a different headspace. I think that's, maybe this is why the whispering is hard. It's because with the stage whispering, it's like it comes out, like the, the air comes out. Whereas with like actual whispering, I feel like it's it's not, you know, I'm like holding my my vocal cords are are closed and they're not letting the air out as much. So maybe it'll be good, good breath training, good for hockey. Good to be a big dumb bro jack nerd, you know. Anyway. Uh, drink sounds a lot better too but yeah so I've been uh, spending a lot of time trying to declutter trying to help my girlfriend declutter because we're moving in nine days well eight eight days because it's 11 o'clock now so by the time you see this so uh, I've been doing my best to get rid of stuff I'm not using and I have a lot of like stuff to go through. Like this is big. You can't see it. I can't even grab. This is a half of it. It's just like papers of like dubious importance. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to like rip through that one of these days here. Cause there's some stuff like the week. 
weekend. And then uh, we get the keys next Friday. And the movers come on Saturday. And I have to be out of here by like April 1st. I think I have to give them the keys back. So it gives me a couple days to clean. Uh, like clean, clean. And I've got a friend who she works for a cleaning company. So I'm going to go on a pay her and we'll get some beers and some pizza and we'll have a little cleaning party. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty excited. Have a little bit more space. Different apartment. This apartment has gotten kind of trashy. Um, the parking lot is just destroyed again. It happens every spring. Just because like they don't have this not enough, not enough parking. Like they have built too many garages. So when it snows a lot, which it does in Nebraska, there's nowhere for them to put the snow. So the snow just gets damped down and gets into the cracks and it just makes these just monstrous potholes and it's just the worst. So what are you gonna do though? You know, uh, move out. It's been a good three years. I'm a bit nervous, you know, as you expect, moving in with somebody for the first time. Well, it's not the first time, but it's the first time moving in with her. And, uh, it's, I mean, her parents are real strict people, so, like, she's lived at home, and she, like, has not spent the night more than, like, she spent the night, like, three times in the, the two years we dated on and off here. So, it'll be interesting to see how the dynamic changes, but I'm excited. Um, I think it'll be good, I think it'll be good for her, I think it'll be good for me, I think it'll be good for our relationship. And, uh, yeah, I'm real excited. Uh, let's see, what else? Updates. Um. Hold on. She wants attention. <laughs> <laughs> she literally just says, you know. Oh, I can't. You can't read it. It's okay. She just says she wants attention. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send her a picture. Click. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so that's happening. Uh, my friend is quitting his job at the Fortune 500 company that hires me. Um, and I'm kind of like, this band-aid, they're hiring someone new. Uh, which they had kind of already planned to do. Um, which is interesting. I don't know if they knew he was so close to quitting or if that's, I'm going to have to talk to him about that tomorrow. Cause it's like, originally they were planning on hiring two people, but now they're just hiring one. And I'm like, maybe they were planning to, to ax him. Wow. But it's good for me cause, uh, they do a thing called town halls. Where the CEO talks to, um, you know, they they have however many thousands of employees. You know, it's it's in the what is that five digits? It's like somewhere between twenty and fifty thousand employees. That's all that matters. And so I'm going to be running the stream for that, um, which is a little high pressure, but uh, we did some training. I'm into it. I'm up for it. I learned a lot. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, I already kind of was doing some streaming things, but it's, it's a couple factors higher than what I was doing at the church. But, uh, it makes me kind of want to get back into streaming for this to do. I, I talked about it once and then I ended up working super late and then I just didn't uh, do a stream. But, uh, I'm thinking I might do a, I might do a live stream here. Um. I don't know if it's best on a weekend, like a Sunday afternoon. It could be fun, maybe after I move. So. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, that's, uh, those are the, the life updates. That's why I've been gone, just my head hasn't been, I've been kind of like a depressy, and I'm kind of coming out of that. Um, and what's weird is like, things are going quite well. So it's not like, <coughs> 
world. Uh, my health could be better. You know, I've gained a lot of weight back because I've been eating like shit. Um, but like money-wise, job-wise, I'm doing very well. I just kind of want to play hockey again. And I think if once I get back on the ice, a lot, a lot of those habits will fall back into place of like better eating, better working out. I'm, you know, I'm trying to get that workout going again. Because I got back on that scale, it said 270 again, and I was like, motherfucker, like, I fought so hard to get down, I got down to like 239, um, over, like, over the summer, and then, you know, things were not going well with girlfriend, we broke up, and I just was just like, you know, just downhill, well, I guess uphill, weight went up, but what you gonna do, you know? Look at my muscles. I got muscles. They're still there. Flex. <laughs> I just, I got good, I got good looking arms. You know, I got, I got those veins. It's just like all this, all this jiggle. That's where all my fat goes. Apparently if you have like a lot of like dummy fat. Oh, fuck. Hit my watch. That's like a good indicator of like metabolic diseases so uh if you have a lot of belly fat go get your blood work checked um and get on the path before you get diabetes because diabetes sucks and you don't want it yeah that's kind of a bummer way to end the video i was like i should end the video there because i'm like a lot of stuff to say but i'm like i'm not gonna end the video on a bummer like that let's think of something good to say Oh, me and my girlfriend have started watching Game of Thrones again. It's so good. Like, the first couple seasons, you forget how it ends so terribly. But, like, we're on the second season. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I forgot how good this was. Because I haven't seen it in, like, ten years, you know? And you're like, this is fucking jam. And then you remember how it ends, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Maybe we'll just stop at season six and just call that. Season 7 had some moments, but season 8 was just like straight dog shit. Like, the whole way. It just, it just kept getting worse. God, I don't want to talk shit on something to be the end of the video either. Ugh, let's talk about something good. I sent out a bunch of invoices today, and somebody paid me instantly. They like called me, they're like, hey, what's your Venmo? And I was like, this. And they paid me. And I was like, fuck, I just sent an invoice like 10 minutes ago. And they were like, you're welcome. That was that Facebook job I did. I forgot to invoice him, but then I just had an invoice today. And he was like, what's your Venmo? I'm gonna pay you now. And I'm like, that is the chaotic energy I need in my life from all my clients. People who call me and are just like, take my money. How do you want it? Because <laughs> usually it takes like a month or two to get paid. Uh, it's a freelance life. Oh, also I overdrew my account. My bank account, because I did something stupid. Um, I bought a microphone, a new microphone, which comes tomorrow, and, um, I thought I had PayPal credit, but I accidentally hit my bank account, and I had put money into my bank account from my brokerage account, but it took longer to get there than I thought it would, and that's why I thought I clicked credit, because I was like, oh yeah, so that way if it, I'll just, you know, I'll do the credit, and then I'll use the money from the brokerage account, and just throw it over no problem, but I, because I hit the wrong button, uh, it overdrew my account, so I gotta call my bank and be like, hey, can you waive this $35 fee, because I've never had a overdraft fee in the 20 years I've been banking there, so I'm like, please, <laughs> and I did fix, I did try to fix it as soon as I saw the mistake, uh, it just took longer than, uh, then the brokerage account came through, you know, so like, that was a Friday, and then Monday, the brokerage account came through, uh, a deposit I had made came through, and, like, a direct deposit check came through, so I was just like, and then I think the stimulus came today, so, yeah, I got dollars, I'm like, duh, doing pretty good, so, gonna pay off some of my debt, gonna throw some money in the stock market, probably, um, and, yeah, I am just real pumped about how good things are going, um, so, yeah, I think my dad there, because uh, we could, we could, we got back up, we got back where we needed to be, I feel like I'm stage whispering again, I can't tell, it's hard for me to tell, but I have the mic 
it's cranked up, so I, I think I'm doing it right. Anyway, uh, thank you, all you people who have stuck around for my low points and high points. Um, I love you. Thank you for watching, as always, and I hope you're doing well. And if not, well, I hope that turns around for you real soon. So, with that said, I'm clicking off, and I will see you next time, which will be tomorrow, because I'm feeling good. Uh, and we're getting back on the path. We're doing videos every day. All gas, no breaks. Let's do it, you know? Let's do it. Let's get hydrated, and let's stretch a bunch. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Love you.